Oh my god, happy new year. So, what's the best way to start off a new year? By sorting through laundry to put in the washing machine, right? Um, but yeah, you're right behind, well, right behind me is stuff we need to sort out. So, sorry about that, but um, just look at the cutest background to do it. Oh my god. Um, but yeah, I decided to do a stream of consciousness today while also trying to sort through laundry to put in the washing machine. And so, that's what I'm going to do. Hold on, I'm going to move, move the camera a bit so you can see all the laundry. Wow, well, this is very cute. Okay. okay, now you can't see my face, and I need to like, be able to talk to you guys. Okay, there we go. Um, but yeah, it is um, the new year. It's January the 1st. So, yeah. So I thought I'd give you guys a bit of a recap of my 2022, how my 2022 went. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. So let's get right into it, shall we? So I'm trying to think how I started 2022. Oh, I started off 2022 by going to um, a very nice hotel, I think, in the Lake District. It was very nice. I loved it. Um, yeah, um, the food was nice there. The town was lovely. Um, and I went on many walks there as well, so that's also pretty good. So that's how I started off my 2022. I stayed there for the whole weekend and then came back home. Um, and then what else did I do? Um, during January, I'm going to do like month by month. So, um, in January, I went to the hotel and then went to the Lake District. Um, I don't think I did anything else really. Um, I think I just went out most of the time, uh, went shopping and stuff like that, and filmed many videos, so that's pretty good. Um, I also started vlogging every day during January as well, so that's, I guess, pretty good. Um, because I never used to really vlog, like, all the time, but I decided um, for New Year's last year that I would vlog or try to vlog every single day on most days. And I think I did, that, I did that successfully last year, so that's pretty good. Uh, so I'm proud of myself for that, but yeah, so um, that's that. Um, what else what else did I do in January? I don't forget, I, I did anything in January. I feel like in January, like nothing really goes on in January, like, um, because it was just after Christmas, so I feel like nothing really goes on in January, so um, January is just kind of a January. Um, so, yeah. And then in February, um, what to do in February, what to do in February. Um, I think in February I filmed a video where I explored some caves. So, I went to this cave, and, well, like an abandoned cave, actually. It's like a walkway, but then, yeah, there's, like, abandoned, like, tunnels and caves, and I managed to explore a lot of the caves, so that's pretty good. Um, it was actually fun as well, like I loved exploring so much, like, I, I'm personally who loves like going exploring, like I want to do more exploring this year, so um, I'll definitely try and do that this year. Um, what else is there in February? Um, in February I tested positive for Covid, so I got Covid for the first time, even though I was one of those people who, fit, who thought that I would never get COVID because literally everyone who I knew had COVID like beforehand and I was like the only like few people who didn't have COVID so I was convinced to well, I love his sea towel. <laughs> I drive um I was trying to dry a frying pan because I, I cooked like hulling with heaters and I was trying to and I, I obviously washed the pan and then I tried to dry the pan. Um, use this tea towel, but it looks like I didn't properly scrub off, scrub off all the remains, so we just have to like orange stain now. So I'll have to wash that. Um, and then, but yeah, test positive finally. Um, and I couldn't go on holiday because I was going to go on holiday abroad somewhere. Um, it was going to be really fun, but then the morning before I was meant to go on holiday, um, I decided to do a COVID test, and that came back positive. So, yeah. Um, so that was pretty, I guess, not good. Um, but I tried to make, um, but I tried to make the best out of bad situation. Um, by doing something on Valentine's Day. So I got COVID, which timed with Valentine's Day. So I just did a whole Valentine's Day date for one. Um, I had like 
some garlands and all that kind of stuff and I just like have some hot chocolates and stuff and that kind of cheer me up so that's pretty good. Um, so in February, well to do nothing really, nothing else really I don't think so I guess that's pretty good. Um, then in March, I actually don't remember what I ordered in March, I think March was just a normal March, um, nothing much really happened. Um, I just had fun in March, so I mean, I, I had fun all this year actually. This year's been one of the best years, so um, I had so much good fun. But yeah, March was just how March should be marching. Um, then in April, I went abroad for the first time. I went to Spain. That was so good, except for the fact that it like, rained um, for about half of it, but for the other half of going to Spain, like it was actually gorgeous, like it was sunny and I loved it so much. Um, and I had my first ever Dunkin' Donuts for the first time as well, which was so good. Like, I loved that Do Dunkin' Donuts place so much. Um, so, yeah. Um, then I took lots of photographs as well. I went on the beach, which the beach was lovely. Like, if you've never been on a Spanish beach before, and you should definitely go on a Spanish beach because the beach was just gorgeous. Like, I loved going on that beach so much. Like, if I could, I would have, like, laid on that beach literally all day. Like, it was so freaking good. Um, then what, what else did I do in April? Yeah, I went on holiday. Then when I came home, um, I, um... I can't remember what else I did in April. I think going on holiday abroad was like one of the most significant events of April. Like I loved going abroad so much. Um, so, yeah. Um, but, so, yeah, nothing really, nothing else really happened in April. Um, I just did normal things like you do in April. Um, after that, going on holiday abroad. Um, so that's pretty good. Oh, Easter happened, so I celebrated Easter, um, by eating lots of Easter eggs and eating lots of chocolates because I am a chocolate freak. Like, I love chocolate so much. Like, I love making, like, chocolate cornflake nests. Um, that's one thing I knew that I was a huge fan of this year. Like, I started making, like, chocolate cornflake nests this year. <clears throat> wow, my voice is breaking and also my voice is full of phlegm. I know, TMI. Um, I just like woke up, so that's why my voice is so croaky and groaky and stuff. Um, but yeah, one of the things I loved doing this year was making chocolate cornflake nests. Like, now I can't stop making chocolate cornflake nests because I made them for Easter, but now I just can't stop eating chocolate cornflake nests. Like, that was... I love chocolate cornflake nests so much. Um, yeah. I also did a lot of baking this year as well. Like, I baked so much this year that... Oh, my God. Um, so I'll get, I'll get to that in a bit, but... Um, what else did I do? Um, I... Yeah, nothing much really happened in April, so I'm going to move on to May. So, May, I... Don't remember what I did in May. I think in May I just had fun really. So I just did the usual things that you do in May. So nothing much really to recap on May. Um, except for the fact that I was preparing for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. So I had a tea party just before it's Jubilee Day, which was on my birthday. And I had like a massive tea party. That was really fun. Um, I decorated with lots of United Kingdom flags and had like a platter buffet thing which I kind of like baked myself, most of the foods which I baked myself. Um, and then, so yeah, that's what I did. And then obviously in June, June was my birthday, so... Um, I just celebrated my birthday, which I didn't do much for this for my birthday this year. Like I was nineteen, and so I didn't really do much. I just basically just went for a walk and just celebrated my birthday. Not much really. Um, just went for a walk, and that was about it really. <laughs> um, but I was also the day when the Queen's Platinum Jubilee was as well, so that was pretty good. 
Um, what else did I do in June? I don't think I did, I did anything, anything else. I just like to have fun in the summer because that's when summer was there and I love summer so much. Like, oh my god, I just love summer so much. So I just did a lot of fun stuff during that summer month. Um, so nothing much really to recap on June. Um, then July. Um, July was a pretty good month. Um, because I went to lots of places. Like I actually went travelling quite a lot. I can't speak. I actually went travelling quite a lot as well. So I travelled to places around the UK. So I went to Chester. Um, which Chester was absolutely gorgeous. Like I love Chester so much. Um, like I just love the whole like aesthetic of Chester. Like all the shops and the buildings and the architecture. I then dined at this bougie restaurant, which was gorgeous. Um, bougie, if you didn't know, is like a restaurant where they decorate it in pink. And it's got all like flowers and stuff and the food was gorgeous. I loved it so much. Um, I then had lots of coffees as well because there's so many coffee shops there as well. So I got a nice iced latte, which I love. Um, yeah, so it was just a nice flowery and wonderful city so I do recommend you guys go visit Chester some at some point. Um yeah what's to do? Um I also went to Manchester as well so I had a day out there which was kind of I wouldn't say horrible but it was quite hard because I'd pulled an all nighter the day before and so I was kinda of like tired but also like I don't really get tired like during the day like if I'm busy doing something, then I can, like, do stuff without feeling the need to go to sleep. Like, I don't really get tired then, so it's still enjoyable, but I was kind of, like, groggy and getting kind of, like, ill from pulling the, the all-nighter, which I did beforehand. Um, so that's one thing you shouldn't do before going to a city or going travelling somewhere, is pull an all-nighter, because you'll feel groggy. Even though it felt good, like, doing it, you, you will probably regret it. Um, what else did I do? So, Manchester, I went to Starbucks. Um, I visited the Arndale Centre, which was absolutely gorgeous. Like, I love that place so much. Like, oh my god. I feel like the whole of Manchester was really gorgeous, but... The only problem with like Manchester was like it was, it was quite a big city, so it was quite hard to like get around everywhere. Like you want to like go everywhere and go to all the different places, but it was just like way too big to do that all in one go. So, um, and there was like too many things there as well. I think so. Um, yeah. Um. So maybe I should like known what the Manchester centre looked like before going to Manchester because it, it was quite a big city but oh well that was it was still quite enjoyable um and then I also what else did I do nothing else really in July, in July I think I just had fun in July so that was pretty good then in August I um um I just had fun really um I, I still did some travelling um I went to um, a lot of like, theme parks, so I went to Alton Towers, all that kind of stuff, so um, that was pretty good. Um, then what else did I do? What else did I do? What else did I do? Um, nothing else, really. I know this like, yearly like recap is just, like, the most boring thing ever, but this is just like, a realistic recap, you know. Um, so, yeah. Um, then in September... Um, Nothing much really happened in September. Um, it was autumn, so I love autumn. I know I said I love summer, but I also love autumn as well. Um, so that was pretty good. Um, I just loved celebrating autumn so much. I made my own autumn decorations and all that kind of stuff. And the funny thing is, not so funny, it's kind of like actually quite sad, but... <clears throat> oh my god, why is my voice so croaky? Oh my god, I hate this. Ah. Um, in September, the Queen died, unfortunately. Um, so that was pretty sad. 
um, quite a, the big, I think the biggest ever, like, breaking news, I think. Um, so yeah, the Queen died, that was pretty sad. Um, and the way I found out about the Queen dying is when I was decorating this bedroom for autumn, so I was decorating it, and then I had, like, the news on downstairs, um, because I knew that she was ill, so I thought, oh, I'll just put the news on just in case anything comes through. And so, um, when the news came through that she had passed away, um, I very faintly heard it because I had like the door open and I was um, putting some autumn decorations up and then I literally heard the news and I literally just like dropped everything and just like ran downstairs. In fact, I, I actually have footage of that actually because um, I wanted to record it because I knew it was going to be like history. Um, so I went, I ran downstairs and then that's when I realised that unfortunately the Queen had passed away. So that was pretty sad. Um, so I think September will be remembered as that. Um, then October, um, October, October, October. Um, nothing much really happened. Um, Halloween happened, but I didn't really do much for Halloween. I went to a pumpkin patch for the first time. Whoa. I nearly burnt then. Uh, but I went to a pumpkin patch for the first time. That was pretty enjoyable. I went to Starbucks at first and then I walked up to the pumpkin patch and that was pretty fun. So um, going to a pumpkin patch for the first time was rather enjoyable. And then obviously Halloween happens, so that's pretty good. Um, yeah, in November, nothing much really happened in November. Um, November was just kind of an average Christmas month. I just got ready for Christmas and that's about it really. Same in December as well, which to be honest, in December I fell quite ill. I won't fall ill, but I had quite a bad summer cake and um, not so bad, but I had quite a summer cake and I felt ill, like this like, weird flu which has been like, going around. Um, I felt like I became victim of that really weird flu which had been going around um which is funny because I never I never usually catch illnesses like it took me a long time to catch covid like by the time I caught covid like literally everyone else like around me like they'd already had covid but I didn't have covid um so I, I don't really get illnesses that often like I have not had to, to visit a doctor in over seven years like the last time I visited a doctor was about seven years ago. Um, so that shows how much I never ever get ill. Um, I'm not a person who can very easily catch diseases or illnesses. So I guess that's pretty good. Um, so yeah, it was quite shocking to me that I had the weird flu. Because um, I was almost certain that I would never get it. Like, So that was pre pretty bad shock to me um not too bad but it's quite a shock um so yeah that's my yearly recap i know this recap's been kind of boring but um oh well this was a realistic recap so that's what you got so yeah, it's gonna be quite un unedited as well so you're not gonna see any edits to this so it's gonna be a probably the most boring unedited video you'll ever see but um, uh, what are my goals for 2023? Hmm. I don't know, I'm not a person who can really set goals for years. Like, I'd rather just see what 2023 or other years bring. Um, because I feel like each year is unique in itself. So, you never know what happens this year. I don't know what will happen. We'll see. I'm going to vlog every single day like I did last year, so... You guys will see my 2023. I'm very excited. Um, so yeah, I'm going to end this vlog now because I've put everything in the laundry basket. Um, I think this is going to take two lots of washing to do because um, there's so much laundry. I've been kind of like slacking with laundry recently. Like, I normally wash like every week. Like every week I will do a wash and I'll wash all my clothes just so I have them around me so I don't have to do any more laundry uh, for like a week's time um, but I've been kind of like slacking recently because um, I've been so busy so I'm going to try not to be so much of a hot mess 
um, this time round and just get my life together, really, because, yeah. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in another video. Um, so I'm very excited to bring you things for... Wow, this, this does not make sense. I really need to go and um, do stuff. Um, so yeah, hope you guys like to watch this very boring stream of consciousness, but it's a stream of consciousness because it's an unedited what comes out of thoughts video. So yeah, I'll see you guys very soon.